What's going on everyone? Chris here from Carrollton Gaming and welcome to my new Let's Play of Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. I know what y'all thinking. Any Pokemon spin-off series that's not battle heavy or not on the Nintendo 64 means worst game of all time. Why is this even in my life? Why is this even a Pokemon game? Well, honestly, I find this very enjoyable. This is the very first game that has introduced a new kind of thing that just feels like a Pokemon game, but in a different way. And I know that it does have its problems. This is first of, well, two games in the series that does have some flaws, but I hope I can convince you to pick this up just for the fact that it's an enjoyable adventure, as it says on the title. While I would go into more detail of it, I feel like th it would be best if I actually get to show you. So, let's get into it with Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. Starting off, this part is my favorite. Pika! Just, it's so great. Now, I do have a little bit of an old file, but we're not going to use that one. We're going to go to this one. We are going to... I actually like this one. This is a cool pose. And here we go. Now, we do have a couple options here. We have options, uh, which I actually will. Tech speed. I want to keep, keep, keep it fast. Change picture. No, I don't do that. Rumble setting. On. And I can delete my file. No, no thank you. Um, passwords, we will go over this at a later time. I don't want to do this now, but trust me on this. There will become a time where this will be important. But other than that, let's play in the Poke Park. Pikachu? That's your name? That's a good name. My name is Mew. I need your help. The sky prism which protects the Poke Park has shattered, and the pieces have fallen all over the Poke Park. If the sky prism's power is lost, the sky pavilion could fall. It could fall from the sky down onto the Poke Park. I like you too. Please find these Sky Prism pieces. There are 14 Prism pieces in total. Special Pokemon in the Poke Park currently have these pieces. I'll wait for you in the Sky Pavilion. Please help. Ugh, man, where am I? Oh no, don't tell me this is Viridian Forest. I've already had enough problems with my trainer going through those bug Pokemon. Ah, a bird! You're not from around here, eh? Say what? Me? I'm Chadot. I'm the Poke Park guy. Talk to me whenever you have questions about the Poke Park. Say what? You're looking for your friends? Charmander, Piplove, and Chikorita? I haven't seen them. That's right. I'm... There are some things I don't know. Now I wonder. You may find them in the Poke Park. I'll take you there. Follow me. So starting off, we have to follow Chadot, and we have to hold the Wii Remote horizontally and move with the D-pad. Now, I really do like this. Now, you start walking with Pikachu, and you start doing this little gallop thing. We're actually taking control of a Pokemon. It's really great. No trainers, nothing like that. Some people might not like that, but I find this really cool. 
and it'll come apparent once this makes sense. And trust me, this is not as slow as it goes. This is we're just getting started. Ah, there you are. I want you to try a few things before you go to the Poké Park. Ah, you can dash, can't you? See that crate over there? Dash into it. Ah, see what happens when you break a crate. That was a bad squawking voice, that last one. To dash, press 1. Dash in the crates to break them. I don't know. I'm not sure if I can break it, but oh my god, no! Ow. When you break a crate, you'll find, sometimes find berries and items. Touch them, and they will be yours. Berries are um, basically your equivalent, because since Pokemon actually themselves cannot use Poke Dollars like in the original games, they have to spend their currency somehow else with berries. That's not bad. Anyways, a really great thing about this dash is that you can go really fast. I mean, look how fast I'm going. It's really amazing. You broke up with a great. Nice job. Now let's see if you can jump. You have to be able to jump to get to some places in the Poke Park. I'll be waiting for you over there. Jump over the log, then catch up to me. <laughs> press 2 to jump. Press and release for a short jump and press hold for a high jump. This is really cool. You can kind of do like platforming stuff. This is probably what you not expect from a Pokemon spin-off game. There, there's a little bit of like platforming elements which is really nice. So this is my light jump and if I hold, I can go really high. Another way you would know is that Pikachu, Pikachu can do a flip when when you hold the 2 button. Kind of reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. Wow, how weird them coming off a game off after that. I love their... I, I, that was a bad one, but I love Chatot's cry. It's really cool. Okay, you can dash and jump. Now that you know those things, you're ready to go to the Poke Park. The Poke Park has many, many ways to have fun. Everybody enjoys skill games. You play skill games with another Pokemon. The most popular skill game is called Chase. I'll show you how to play. Chase is a skill game in which you have a limited amount of time to tag the other, poke the other Pokemon. Dash into your opponent and you'll win. Are you ready? I'll win and you'll try to dash into me. So as we play this game, you're probably thinking that, oh, this is just gonna be some little kitty game. Well, you're wrong. Just watch this. We literally tackle him! <laughs> okay, I know he's a Pokemon and he's got all his health, but still, it's really funny. Ah, that was too much. You made me feel a little dizzy. You're full of energy, aren't you? All right, you passed the test. You can play Chase, no problem. Here, please have some berries. When you win a skill game, two, thi two good things will happen. The first thing is that you'll, the first is that you'll make a friend. If you win a skill game, the other Pokemon will become your friend. Right? Making a new friend is a wonderful thing. Say what? Right? Oh, of course. You and I are now friends. Let me continue. The second good thing is berries, like I gave you. When you win a skill game, you receive berries. You'll find out what to do with them once you get to the Poke Park. Right? Well, that's all you need to know. I'll be ready in the Poke Park. I swear I will not do that cry again. Hi, are you on your way to the Poke Park too? The Poke Park is a wonderful place. You can meet lots of friends and there are many attractions. Once you pass through this forest, you'll be in the Poke Park. See you there. Oh, all right, so I guess we'll just keep going. And I gotta say, this was around 2010. This tree actually looks really good. Like. A lot of this place looks good, again, for an artistic view. I know the graphics have changed a lot over the years, but this looks really nice. To talk to a Pokemon, approach them and press 2. When a Pokemon wants to tell you something, you'll see a bubble over above the Pokemon's head. Alright, let's see what Baneri's thinking. Oh, hi! We met each other just now. Yeah, a whole two seconds ago. I've been waiting for you. Snorlax is in the way, and I can't get to the Poke Park. You can use that zapping move, can't you? Will you please use that move to wake up Snorlax? Use Thunderbolt. Press and release A to use Thunderbolt. Make sure to face the opponent. Press B to face a nearby Pokemon. If no other Pokemon is nearby, your point of view shifts to the direction of Pokemon Pikachu is facing. 
So, this is really interesting. The camera is operated by a button press, which a lot of people really wish there would be a um, more better way to control the camera like they do in Sword and Shield, where you have like a... Um, where you can control the camera on its own, but I actually like this. This is really cool. And by the way, in the original games, you just had to play a poke flute to wake up Snorlax. But here, we murder him! <laughs> Sorry! Now I can go play in the Pokey Park. See you there. So first we headbutted a Chanon and we kill and we thunderbolted a Snorlax. If you thought this was just gonna be a cutesy wootsy game, oh boy, you have mis you are mistaken. There's a lot more violence than you can think of. Okay, not violence, but it's like for a light for a game that people thought was gonna be made for like little kids, like like little little kids there's a lot of like really like crazy stuff going on to make sure this is a pokemon game all right you're finally here i have something to give you you received the poke park pad that's called a poke park pad yeah i just said that thanks Chad. as you make friends their names will appear in the poke park pad right as you know the best thing about the pokemon you know the best thing about the pokemon better than anything it's making so many friends when you made a new friend, open your pad to check it. Filling the pad with the names of all the Pokemon here will be tough. Press plus to open the Poke Park pad. You check information about your friends plus your own stats. When you want to stop playing, you can open up the pad to save your adventure by selecting the save game. Chadot is now your friend. So going over the Poke Park pad, actually, I think Chadot will explain. See? Did you see my name in there? When you're talking to a Pokemon, if a picture of the Poke Park pad shows by the Pokemon name, if you see a Poke Park pad symbol next to the name, that means you are his friend. When you become best friends, the picture of the pad will have a rainbow colors. Ooh. See you later. I'll be in the Poke Park. You can talk to me whenever when you want to know something. Bye-bye. So going over the Poke Park pad, you know, it's basically your pause menu. Nothing too much about that. But your friend list, this is basically the main gimmick of the game. Instead of trying to catch them all, now you gotta befriend them all. See, isn't it more friendlier this way than to force capture them in spherical capsules and force them to be our slaves? I think so. And also, apparently the Pokemon are a lot more intelligent than we credit them as they have the capability to invent social media. In all seriousness, I can understand people having some criticism on this game because of how simple it is, but I just feel like it's more great in terms of the presentation and really simple, by the way, the signboard just says, you know, if you want to talk to it, just press 2. But yeah, I like the presentation, just the whole look of it, and it's like, it's not like supposed to be a main series Pokemon game. But enough of that, let's head to the Poke Park, even though we were already here. Now I gotta say, look at this animation. You know, Pikachu runs and then all of a sudden gets knocked backwards. That must have hurt. Chikorita! <laughs> Pikachu, you're safe! Charmander Piplup and I followed you down to that mysterious tunnel. We all got separated as we fell. They call this place the Poke Park. We're in what they call the Meadow Zone. Look how green and pleasant it is. I love this place. I see that you are good friends. Welcome to the Poke Park. I've been here before. Tee hee! Do you want to know something? When you come to the Poke Park, you can't miss the attractions. If you talk to the Pokemon by the attraction signboard, you can play. We found Chikorita. And of course, 
she's obviously our friend if we go to our friends list. I won't do this all the time, but yes, because we've been friends with Chikorita for a while, for a long time, uh, she is, or he, I don't know, I think it's a girl. Uh, we are now friends with Chikorita, and it's a rainbow color. So basically, rainbow color means best friends, and the pink ones means you're, they're just friends. So, uh, chat up, what else you gotta say? You met your friend Chikorita, right? Say what? Renaria invited you to the attraction? Hmm, I see. All right, uh, why don't you try it up? Okay, uh, let's go over here. Hi, Bulbasaur. Do you want to play my attraction? I'm afraid you can't. There are rules here in the Meadow Zone, you know. You can't play the attractions. You can't go to other zones. Let me think. Maybe you could play in secret. That way, Venusaur, the zone keeper, might not find out, okay? I'll let you play. Don't tell anyone. What a waste to have attractions you can't play. It's just a strange rule. Why don't we just play it, Pikachu? Everybody runs when playing my attraction. You can cl you'll clear it if you finish inside the gold time. Normally, you need five berries to play Bulbasaur's Daring Dash. I won't charge for a while, though. You're the first customer in ages. Do you want to play Bulbasaur's Daring Dash? Yes, let's see what this attraction is. Right on, that's what I wanted to hear. This is an example of our first attraction. Think of these as like advanced skill games, kind of mixed in with Mario Party minigame mechanics. And yes, these do have motion controls. I know a lot of people not like them, but I feel like these are easy to pick up. This is Bulbasaur's Daring Dash. Compete on the force course and beat your clock to reach the goal. 10 seconds. How to play? Shake the Wii Remote to start running. The more you shake it, the farther you go. Pretty simple. And because we only have Pikachu, we can choose from other Pokemon, but we're gonna go with Pikachu. Luckily, I know a lot of people do not, do not like motion controls, and I can understand that, but it's literally just, all you gotta do is shake it up and down. If you can beat your bonus, you will get a prize. And I'm shaking as much as I can. Come on, Pikachu. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can see your uh, speed meter on the top right. Uh, come on, beat 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I was actually running out of breath, if you can believe that. I was like shaking as hard as I could. Don't call that context, please. And attraction cleared, and I get a bonus. My bonus present is... Uh, 100 berries! I am so glad I got that. And, uh, that is insane. The Being the records is going to be very important in, in the long run, but I'm just glad I got it now so I don't have to do it anymore. For those of you who played this game, you know why. Well done! You cleared it! You did it this time, and I have a tip for you. The friends you make through skill games play attractions. And when a friend of yours clears the attraction, it counts for you. The rule is, is that if your friend clears it, you've cleared it. That's because you're friends. By the way, this is for you. We received a prism piece. Isn't it pretty? It fell from the sky while I was watching the attraction. Mew spoke to me in a dream. Do you want to know what he said? He said that I must give this to whoever clears my attraction. So, it is yours now. We're now friends with Bulbasaur. Hey, you! Did you just play the attraction? Don't you know the rules? You can't play the attraction in this zone! Remember now? I'll have to take you to Venusaur! Oh no, please don't. Oh no, is this because I invited you to the attraction? Save Chikorita, please. I'm begging you. Mankey said that he was going to take going to see Viasaur. He's past the gate across the river. Okay, this is why I don't get. Like, I know this is a, a bad time to critique something in the beginning, but why did they take Chikorita when it was Pikachu that actually played it? Like, you can only play as Pikachu. Why didn't they take us? I, I don't know. Point is, we gotta go save Chikorita, but I don't know if we can do that. I guess we're gonna have to see. Next time on Poke Park Wii, 
Pikachu's adventure? We're gonna try to go save Chikorita. If we must. Because she is our friend. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys!